Hello and welcome to another Gamer Tech review. Now in this review we are taking a look at the wicked gaming mouse made by Speedlink called the Kudos RS Gaming Mouse. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a close up at the box here. So we've got seven programmable buttons on there which is cool. Is that in light? Yes that is. Um, we've got a 4D wheel, a 1.8 meter cable, onboard memory, rubber coated, adjustable USB polling rate and it's got profile and DPI switching which is really cool because it's all on the fly and quick. So if we do this here. Um, and do this here. Yeah. There's the mouse, as you can see. Um, in this little black round thing here, that's where all the weights are kept for the mouse. Here's some pictures here of little flashy light things and the 4D weirdy thing and what all the buttons do and stuff. It's also got weights in there, or as I said earlier, that's where the weights live. It's a weighted mouse and you can adjust the weight, which is nice. Without further ado, let's just whack it open and have a little look at what's inside. Box, box, open the box. Yummy, yummy, mouse, mouse. Come out here, you mouse. Here we go. So that's the box all kind of opened with so that can pop over there. You can get all the extra little bits we get in the box. We get our CD with the driver software on there, very important stuff. We have our little manual of how to use it, what's in the box, and that's all in there. And then we can go over here. And we also get, which I thought was a really nice little extra, glidey feet pads. So these are replacement pads for the mouse here. Yeah, you pretty much you can just stick them on the mouse uh, and you can replace the existing ones. So if you do use your mouse a lot and you get scratches on there and the feet kind of get all used up and a bit old, then you can replace them. How cool is that? So they just add like even more longevity to the mouse. So cheers guys. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Now let's get the mouse out. Uh, plasticky thing away. Black weighty thing. And the mouse as well. Alrighty, so here's the black weighty thing. Unscrew the top like this. Ugh. And then you've got six weights inside there. So, yeah, as I said, the, there's six weights, and these go inside the mouse. Enough said. And here's the mouse. Now, it is pretty. I know I do use that word quite a bit, but it is a very pretty mouse. There's the scroll wheel there. Now, the 4D scroll wheel. So, you've got left, right, and then you've got scroll forward and back, and clicky down as well. This is your DPI setting. So, you've got one button just to make it go up. So, you've got one, two, three, four different settings per mode. This end button light here is the mode light so you press that and it changes color depending on what mode it's on and then you've got the four lines just up here and you press the DPI button and it climbs 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 when it gets to the top and you press it it goes back down to here so that's how you change the DPI settings on there now all of those are customizable through the software as well um, here's a, a few screens of the software so um, as you can see this is where you change the sensitivity and and the profiles and things and it's all programmable and yeah so the software is actually really easy to use as well um, you don't have to mess around looking on it for ages, really self-explanatory, just kind of click the mode that you want and uh, adjust the DPI accordingly and yeah, you're done, which is really, really good. Now with this mouse, the first time I looked at it, I was a little bit worried because it looked a bit long. You can get some mice which are really like long and things, so when you're holding it, it's kind of like you're holding a big long wooden wooden stick on your mouse pad and it doesn't fit nicely in your hand. However, when I started to use the mouse, I realised that, oh man, god, it fits perfectly into my hand, man, and it's genuinely really, really, really comfortable. I was using a Radon 5K before, uh, and I thought that fit that, that fit into my hand really nicely. But this is just, ah, oh, it's not, it's not got a bigger bump as the Radon. It is a bit longer than the Radon, and it's also a little bit like narrower. But ah, oh, it's just. A lot of this, like so much of the mouse, it is personal preference and it's really hard to kind of select a mouse you want to play with and use for like a long time without like kind of seeing it, but as soon as I put my hand on it, oh, oh, it's so nice, it is a really, really, really nice mouse. The scroll wheel as well is possibly the best, if not my most favourite scroll wheel out of any single mouse that I've used in my life. It is lovely, It's um, it's got an angular shape on there, which you can see, so when you scroll your finger across it, instead of it being like flat and going forward and feeling like it's a bit off, off balance or off center because it is slanted and the way you're like the way you, the angle your finger is on there when you roll against it it just feels it feels ah oh, seamless it feels so nice on there and it is a de it is a definite kind of like click on the scroll wheel as well so if you want to just kind of move a few paces down something then you can actually feel where you're clicking to it's not like a you can't feel it and if you roll it a lot it does stop after you've kind of like 
taking your finger off the scroll, which is really, really good. And it is just a beautiful scroll wheel. The only thing that I could say could be improved with the scroll wheel is when you press it down. Not like the left, left and right is fine. I don't have any problems with that at all. Um, even with the slant, moving it left and right, you don't have any problems with that. But when you like press it down to like, if you're on a web page and you press it down just to like move around a bit, it just feels like a little bit stiff, but more than likely that's gonna wear in with time as well. So it's probably only stiff because it's new. But yeah, that's the only kind of thing with the scroll wheel that I'd say. Apart from that, it is absolutely lovely. The left and the right click as well, it's probably when you get used to a mouse, you'll notice like things like this a lot more, but the left click and the right click, they were quite stiff as well. I think because I've used it for, well, I've used it for about uh, a week now, quite solidly, <laughs> I will say. I've been using it solidly for a week, but I've got completely used to it now. But when I did start to use it at the start, it felt like I had to press it, like a definite press, like not just a little kind of like scroll on the top. So in regards to misclicking and things, that's not going to be a problem for you anymore. If you do kind of like get a bit tentative and you want to click down a bit early, then you're not going to kind of have this because you need to kind of like kind of give it more of a definite click. There is a bit more travel in the mouse than my than the previous mouse that I've used. However, again, like with the scroll wheel, it's probably going to wear in a bit more every time again. It really is just kind of like a springy mouse. So it definitely like kind of bounces back and, and pulls up to your finger when you use it. But yeah, it, it clicks really nicely and the, the shape of it's fantastic. It's got this rubber coating on the edges here. Um, so you've got your rubber coating there and your rubber coating there. And this, it does literally stick to your hand. Like it is wicked, the like, it, it literally again does just kind of stick to your hand, especially on this side here with your pinky. Um, you find that it's just, it's definite, it's, it's such a nice grip on there that you're not going to like slip around with it. It's just, it's just in your hand and it's stuck to your hand and ah, uh, it's wicked, it is fantastic. It is a 5700 DPI laser as well, so if you do like really sensitive mice then fantastic. Um, also, as you know it's 5700 DPI, you know it's got a really good quality laser in there as well. So in regards to when you're using it, if the laser doesn't pick up movement and things, that's not going to happen with you just because the laser is such a high quality that it's just, it's just a non-issue, which is really, really cool. So yeah, that's pretty much the, the full fullness of the mouse. Um, oh, wait! Get, well, get that weight. To get the weights in, you press this button here. Oh, and then that little thing goes flying off onto the floor, unless you catch it. And then you've got your little spaces here for six weights to go in there. As soon as I got the mouse, I did put all six in weights in there. And I started playing with it. I found that it was very, very heavy. So I took all six weights out. And it is quite a light mouse, actually, without all the weights in there. And I so much preferred it without them. Just, But that's, again, probably just a personal preference. I prefer a lighter mouse than a heavier mouse. Whenever I get a weighted mouse, I never put the weights in there just because I like to... I I like it to be lighter so it's easier to move. Uh, and yeah, you can do, with it, do it with this mouse. It has got a standard USB 2 cable on there, which is, as we said before, 1.8 meters long. And it has got a gold plated ending on there as well. So in terms for connectivity, you're not gonna have any problems. It's gonna be lovely. And a cool thing is as well, is you can adjust the polling rate of the mouse, like to the computer. It is set as a standard of 1000 megahertz. So that's one millisecond response rate, which is wicked. But if you wanna take it down for any reason at all, then you do have that ability. So yeah, that's the Kudos RS mouse by Speedlink. Uh, a very big thank you to Speedlink for sending me one so I can have a little play with it, have a little look and uh, tell you my thoughts and feelings. Um, you can find Speedlink's link below into the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, like, subscribe and like uh, because it really does help out the channel. So thank you very much guys for doing that. And um, while you're here, why not stop by one of the other videos I've got which are over there somewhere. We've got fun game ones, we've got some Minecraft and some League, we've got other reviews on things. We've got, we got like, the, the, so there's lots of different things there for you to check out so please do feel free to have a little look and then like those videos as well and uh, yeah share those ones and tell your friends so yeah thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you in another one